Good morning and welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. This is Logan Burgess. Today is October 4th and the grains are moving higher. Let's take a look at fire tip here. Corn trading up 7.5. Beans up 31. We haven't seen that in a long while. Chicago wheat trading up 7 and Kansas City wheat trading up 7.5. This morning we had export sales come out. Uh, seemed to be very positive for grains, particularly for soybeans. Logan, what were the numbers? That's right, Cody. Well, as you can see here from this slide, in the middle column here, we have market expectations for this morning's report. On the right side, we have what the USDA actually reported. As you can see here, corn coming in at 327,000 metric tons, right in line with analyst expectations. As you said, Cody, the big story here that people are going to be watching is soybeans coming in at 1.3 million metric tons here uh, on the week, well above market expectations. If we go turn our attention here to wheat, 300,000 metric tons of wheat um, on the low side of expectations, but really the market's watching this bean here, uh, this, the, these bean exports right now, really not seeing export demand slow down at all here in recent weeks. Yeah, I would agree. And if you take a look at uh, corn here for ethanol, uh, production seemed to really lag here. And, and, and really what you should be focusing on, take a look at these annotations here at the bottom. You have 82.4 million bushels that were used last week, and we need to use 86.4 million bushels to meet the USDA expectation. The bottom line here is we're not producing enough ethanol to meet the current USDA expectations. That's right. relatively bearish. That's a little bit of demand destruction. But again, uh, seasonality, we'll have to see how this thing unfolds going forward. That's right. Well, Cody, right now, you know, the, as we said, the big story here, we see beans up 30 cents. Beans have been selling off quite sharply here uh, in recent weeks. There's been a lot of talk that this bean market was oversold. Is this the bottom to the bean market? Is this thing going higher right now? I think we put in a short-term buy bottom in the bean market and here's why. Let's take a quick look at the 60 minute chart. What we're looking at is a uh, it's a 60 minute chart which means that each one of these bars represents 60 minutes worth of price action. And you'll see here that we traded uh, we traded lower here, we consolidated, leg lower, consolidated, leg lower. So we're clearly trending down, but at $15, this is the $15 price level, we found support. We found it the first time we, uh, we rallied up at, uh, as a result of it, and then we came back. We tested it a second time. We had a double bottom here, guys. We rallied sharply. We had strong volume. We moved up to 1540. We consolidated, and then we shot higher here in, in, the, in the morning. So a bottom line here is I think that we found a little bit of a, uh, a bottom here at $15. Let's take a look at the daily chart. And this is what I like to do when I'm looking at charts. I like to look at different time frames and see if they seem to line up to right. support uh, perhaps a, a bottom or perhaps a continuation in a trend. And so I look at the 60 minute chart, now I'm taking a look at the day chart. And, and you can see here, first thing we'll look at, the stochastic. We're down here well uh, up, up, oversold here. Right, right. Uh, and it seems as though we're crossing, we're turning a bit higher. If you look at the moving average, we were unable to close below the 100-day moving average here uh, on, on both of these days that we came down and tested 15. So to me, I think that that is very bullish. We held that support line. Um, we held that 100-day moving average, and now we're trading up above it. So right. um, to me, I look at this, I say big hole $15. You know, we, we got people that are seeing higher or they think that there's going to be higher yields, right. and I think that was reflected in the pullback that we saw, yeah. uh, and now we're just waiting on the USDA. I think there's a good chance that we could rally up a little bit and trade somewhere in the middle of this range between the highs and the lows printed yesterday. That's true, Cody. Right now, you know, the technical landscape certainly does support a move higher here, and certainly this morning from the demand side of the equation, we saw very strong export sales, both of soybeans and soybean meal out of this morning's report. You know, the one thing that you alluded to a little bit earlier that, that I am worried about in terms of where this chart's headed is the production side of things. We did have a bearish quarterly grain stocks report here. There are expectations now. We saw SC Stone come out yesterday with a plus 38 yield out of the soybean crop. Tomorrow will be very important for this, uh, for the yield side of the equation, the production side of the equation. We will be getting informer numbers, but uh, bottom line here, I think that I am in agreement with you, Cody. I do think we're going to be drifting higher here, certainly near term, but there are a lot of different, uh, different factors uh, affecting this market right now, pushing it in two different directions, I guess. Yeah, I would agree. And, and, and I think that really what the trade's going to be focusing on uh, is that uh, is that supply and demand report right. coming out? I think that we're gonna want to we'll be seeing some sort of yield revisions, yeah. and that's what the trade's gonna be focusing on. And I think that we're really we factored in slightly higher than expected yield yeah. on the way down here. Yeah. And and I think that quarterly stocks number, I think that really surprised people. But I think the thing is, is that 
is that those beans are going to be shipped out. You know, right. they're they're going to be exported, right. and uh, and we'll be back in the same scenario. So um, we're just going to have to see what the USDA holds. Uh, but uh, obviously, on the shorter term horizon, we got informer numbers coming out, and that'll move the market most likely. That's right. If you want to take a look at Fire Tip, get it installed on your computer for yourself. Here, visit us at grainhedge.com. Take a free, no obligation demo. I think that wraps up our show here for Thursday morning. Cody, thanks a lot for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.